Hi everyone, welcome back to some more Final Fantasy 16. I'm back where we left off and I'm very excited to continue. So please make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm going to start this episode off by finally using my ATL because I forgot that I have to hold down the touchpad. I was trying for so long to just press the touchpad, hold it down. There we go. So current village, Martha's Rest. Martha's Rest, a small settlement huddled atop a rocky tor overlooking the swampy lowlands of su southeastern Rosaria. Cell swords gather in its barracks, hawkers in, the, in its streets, while those short on work can be heard singing over flagons of ale from morning until night in the village's eponymous t tavern. While the former duchy man uh, may want for cheer since being annexed by the empire, the rest is a rare spot of sunshine among the gloom, and the most travellers uh, and most travellers make a point of stopping over when they're passing through. Martha, landlady of the Golden Stables, the tavern at the heart of Martha's Rest. She is also a friend of Sid's uh, cause, keeping the hideaway supplied with both victuals and information on developments in Western Storm, a second string to her business that she strives to keep secret from the Imperial authorities. Alliance. Those who do not call the hideaway their home, but nevertheless lend their strength to Sid's cause. There are many in the twins who balk at the persecution of bearers, but cannot find within them the courage to oppose it, knowing what fear awaits them should their sympathies be exposed. Others take that risk, aiding Sid's bearer liberation efforts with information sent by Stolas, monetary assistance or direct action. That's awesome. Okay, so let's fulfill Martha's request and let her know. Take what I gave you to Glademond Abbey on the shore of Sorrowise Bay. The abbot will show you the rest. Okay, so to fulfill it, we go. It's good, honest work building that. Perfect. Alrighty then. So let's look at my local map. There's a shop. Wow, this area is huge. Okay. Interesting. So we've got to go that way. Is it this way? Yes. Let's check out the shop. Anything catch your eye? Ooh. Gaia blade. Yeah. There you go. That's awesome. Ooh, yeah. Much obliged. <laughs> Lovely. Increase attack power. Or increase defense. Okay, I've got two of those and one of those. Take That's care fine. Out there, eh? Thank you. Such a beautiful town. Oh, look at these two lovebirds. Oh wait, no, that's the lady. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> that's one of the ladies that uh, gets a job. All right, pop down, shall we? And if I see any green side mission bubbles, I'll try to take him on. I knew that children were tested, that a bearer's fate was decided at birth. And assumed it was best for all concerned. I know. It's horrible. For a child to be blamed. To be hated by its parents through no fault of its own. We knew nothing of what it meant to be born that way. Did we? God. No. Messed up beyond belief. Sorrow wise. Kill a bee. You know what to do. Boy. Yeah, struggle. Bust it down. Sick of toggle. Get the money, go for. 
me a little death blossom. Nasty. Okay. Got him. Bing. Briar clam shells. Okay. Can I walk in the water? No. <laughs> there is a thingy. Oh. Come here, you. Get him. Big crab. Hey, don't hit J Jill, you nasty. Got him. I like how they've got the moss growing on top of them, though. That's very cool. Um, where was the shiny thing I saw? Here it is. Oh! Damn! Chunks of Wyrite. Bye! <laughs> I don't feel the need to hurt him. He seems like a nice boy. Gotcha. Lovely. Oh, never mind. Okay, let's check out the map of this area. Okay, so yeah, there was the two ways to go. Good. Ooh. What do we have here? Three pinches of magic ash. Whoa, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> oh god, okay, so the circle, no matter what, makes me go to the enemy. <laughs> I thought I could go straight with the circle. I can't. There we go. Lovely. There's the Abbey. What darkness awaits us within, I wonder. Let's go and see. Let's go and see. Day to you. I'm afraid the Abbey is not open for public prayer. May Grieger go with you? What do we say? <laughs> we came to offer a donation from Martha. I see. Okay. Then please, follow me. Whoa. I, I don't want to die. Please, Father. Something for the pain. I beg you. The light, it fades. I don't want to die alone. It's all right. I'm here. Damn. That's so sad. Who are these people? Martha's bearers. She entrusted them to my care, that I might ease their suffering. To the extent that I can for the time they have left. Damn. 
thing. has taken them. All of them. Is this part of the blight? As it does, every bearer forced to use their gift. With each draw on the ether, their bodies oh. petrify, till all that remains is stone and pain, and so they are cast aside. Damn. There is nothing either Martha or I can do to change that, but we can at least strive to make their final hours a little more bearable. <laughs> Have faith, my son, for you shall rise again and find the happiness denied you in this life. <laughs> Thank you. I must offer you my own thanks for the medicine you so kindly brought. Now their final moments may be moments of peace. That's horrible. When next you see Martha, pray tell her that Two more have succumbed. Damn. We should get back to Martha's rest. Yes, we should. Hello. Thank you for bringing us the physic. Would that we were not so reliant on Martha's kindness. But I fear we would have naught to soothe these bearers' woes without it. Save a prayer to a god that is not their own. Mm. Okay. Just checking out now, barging into their <laughs> areas. Beautiful little church. Thought that was a door. It wasn't. Okay. That broke my heart. Now I feel really sad. <laughs> Damn. Guess we just head back. I guess that's why it's called Sorrow Wise. <laughs> I'm gonna take it out on you. <laughs> God dang. I sure did take it out on you, I will say. Or just hunting for things. Bust it down. Hornets are some of the nastiest creatures on the planet. Bees are fine. Bees are really good, but hornets? Not cool. But they're deadliest. Mosquitoes. Or at least to humans. The more you know. 
So if you see a mosquito, kill it. the music at Martha's Rest. It's so beautiful. You ain't pulled that sword from its scabbard in days. If it weren't for that mark, I'd be on you like a rash. Nasty. I don't want anything on me like a rash. <laughs> coin. Interesting. So it's not gill, but a goblin coin. There's one missing. Oh, missing a chicken. Port back to Martha. Hello, love. Ah, you're back. Thanks for taking care of that. Two more did succumb. The abbot had a message for you. Two more have succumbed. I see. I'm sorry. Come upstairs. So, now you know, eh? I've seen plenty of bearers die on the battlefield. Yeah, but never like that. But never like that. That is... And all because they were born different. A horrendous the death. powers that be can't take away their gift, so they strip them of their humanity instead. Oh, there's plenty who pity a bearer's plight. But so long as we're content to sit around, weeping for those on whose broken backs we're carried, we ain't gonna change nothing. And so you lend Sid your strength. What little of it I have. <laughs> Used profits from this place to buy the poor buggers. So when the abbot told us the bearers were yours. Aye. They're my property. At least by law. Yeah, you just buy them and so that they don't have a to different work, fetch price beyond my means. All I can do is care for those who are past mend and Damn. Oh Martha. A beautiful it's not person. All doom and gloom. Bernard's <laughs> finished fixing that bridge for you. You can carry on to Eastpool now. You got questions that need answering, ain't you? Well, I wish you luck. Thank you, Martha. Oh, I almost forgot. Sid and I have other friends in Rosaria. What? Wear this and they'll know you for one of us. Oh, yay! Seal obtained. You accepted the slumbering Jacobo from Martha. And know that you will always be welcome here. Thank you, Martha. I love everyone in this world. Sorry, I'm losing my damn mind. They're just you the goodest Rosfield. people. It really is them. Lord Rosfield and Lady Warwick have wow. come back to us. And long may they stay. She recognized them. That's so cool. Well, I guess Sid told her to expect them. A bearer's lot. Marks. <clears throat> Marks. Emblems that Sid's allies distribute to those in their circle of trust. It is common for the rich and powerful of Velisthea to pin such marks to the bearers in their possession that the slaves might go about their master's business unmolested. Right. Sid! Or is that Sid. Goots? Ah, Clive. You're not where I left you. 
Hurt your hand. Oh, there's I. With a thousand little lightning bolts. That's why he's coughing. I'm around the way I used to. Think of it as my decoration for long service and exemplary misconduct. Exemplary misconduct. That's it. But you didn't come here to compare war wounds. We didn't. Thank you, Sid. For everything. <laughs> if you want to leave, that's your lookout. I'm sure you'll have a long and happy life together if you stay out of my way. Sid! Sid! <laughs> oh. <sighs> I knew a girl, back in the day. She was a slave to her fate, just like you. Is this Benedicta? Or someone else? I wanted to save her. For a while, I even thought I could. But just because you think something doesn't make it true. Very, very well said. said. Savior, just a conceited old fool. I talk about people forging their own futures, but instead of handing them the hammer, I beat them with my own. And if no bugger wants to listen to what you've got to say, you might as well keep your gob shut. Mm. But Clive, I will say this. a monster. You're the same man you've always been. Oh. Except that, and you may yet escape your fate. My fate. That's so beautiful. Look, lad, you've had a hard life. And I don't see it getting much easier. You might not be able to save anyone else. But at the very least, you can save yourself. <laughs> I'll try. No. And Jill. I'm sorry we didn't get a chance to talk, but I trust you'll take good care of the boy. <laughs> yes, I will. She'll look after Clive. Is that the last of it? Aye. We best head back then. Wouldn't want to keep Nan waiting. So right, then. Oh. We'll see him again, right? That's heartbreaking. Cause yeah, we didn't say goodbye to him at the hideaway, so holding on. Ooh, a new quest is available nearby. <clears throat> Hello. Here, you're that bear who works for Martha, aren't you? <laughs> Can you give me a hand? Curse my luck. I dropped my crystal off a cliff into the bloody swamp. Oh, jeez. Okay, yeah, that's foolish. Now, I've not got your knack, see, and I need that shard to chill my fish if I'm to take him to market. Okay. Well, it's just a short climb down. I'll make it worth your while. Alrighty. I can't promise anything. Well, just promise you'll look. I do. Ah, there mm. may be one thing I failed to mention about the crystal. A creature might have already claimed it. Oh, I'll beat it. it. The freak down. Or oh, do I have to get it, it but, to but, but poop it out? Have, you understand. There were a lot of bog crabs down there. <laughs> Nasty buggers, them. <sighs> Sounds like I need to break a few shells. I'll crack them open. <laughs> oh, don't worry, there, there, there weren't too many of them. A veritable walk in the marsh, as they say. The ladders right over there. All righty. Walk in the marsh, eh? I'll do it. Alright, 
Let's smush some crabs. Never heard of crabs eating crystal. This should be interesting. Bomb crab. Alright. You know what to do, boy. Hell yeah. This must be Fell crystal. <laughs> you. I'm spending any more time down here than I have to. It's a very foul one because it's been all all the way inside of a <laughs> of a crab. Ewe. Lovely. Oh, yeah. Ugh, the music. Coming back to it just feels like home. Well, any luck? Here's your disgusting crystal. Yours, I presume. Enjoy. It's filthy. You found it. Oh, thank you. Don't touch it against the fish. <laughs> Perfect. Any longer out in the sun, and my catch would have made for poor eating indeed. Ew. <laughs> Be more careful next time. Yep. Oh, I will, I promise. No point casting my nets of a morning if I'm without a crystal to see the catch to town. There was a time honest tax paying folk could get new ones whenever they wanted. Mm. Can't now, though, not for love nor money. So you Crystal got it with your life. Scarce, and the Empire tightens its purse strings more every day. Lose this little <clears throat> beauty again, and I might as well scrap my nets and take to begging. Correct. Beautiful. Find him before the Imperials do. Ooh, what's happening? <clears throat> Can't talk now, I... Oh, you're Clive, aren't you? Martha told me all about you. Oh. Word is you're a devil with that blade. <laughs> a little bit. You look like you're in a hurry. Where are you going? Not far, I hope. But I dare not waste a moment. It might cost a man his life. Sounds serious. What happened? Not so much what happened as what might. They've discovered he's a bear, I see. Ooh. And now, one of his erstwhile friends and neighbors wants to see him clapped in chains. Where is this bearer? He wasn't fool enough to wait for the Imperials to arrive. The poor sod took to the road, left his whole life behind. But they'll be after him before long. I need to find him and get him to safety fast. Okay. Here. If you've the time and the inclination, I could do with a hand. Will you help me find him? 100%. This is a bit more important than that person's... Uh... Of course. We bearers have to look out for I mean, each that other. that person's crystal. Thank you, Clive. <laughs> with your help, we might catch up with him yet. All right. His name's Norris. Norris. We need to find him and get him to Martha before the Imperials sniff him out. You found him yet? You won't catch a bastard standing around clucking like old ends. That fucking snake played me false. Acted like he was one of us, and the old time he was one of them. We need him caught and handed over to the Imperials. Hanging's too good for him. Can I backhand oh, this man? Then. If he gets away, I'll see you fitted for a noose. All right, Ronald. We were just leaving. Look, this one's here to help. I was just filling him in. Ha! Send a bearer to catch a bearer, is it? Not bloody likely. That's it. I'll find the bastard myself. Come on now, Ron. It's dangerous out there. We wouldn't want you to come to any harm. <laughs> You want something done right, you don't send a bearer. Alright, go out there, get harmed. <laughs> Clive, 
This might take a while. You start hunting our man, and I'll be along once I put Ronald's mind at ease. Okay. Someone said they saw Norris heading for the Fallen Gate. Maybe you could ask if anyone over that way knows anything. We have to find him. Don't let him slip through our grasp. Okay. Better find this Norris before Ronald takes matters into his own hands. Yeah. There is a hardly difficult to spot. What did he mean about being played false, I wonder? Hmm. Okay. You seen oh. You don't know a man called Norris, do you? I do, as it happens. He ran off that way not too long back. Looked like he was in a right all hurry. Okay. And he had a lantern with him for some reason. Never known him to stay out after dark. Oh boy. He was making for the marshes then. All right. Thank you. You barely have to step out. Search for him in the marshes. That's one of our branded. He can't have gone far. Gosh. I better keep my eyes peeled. Ooh, no, the lamp. A lantern. The one Norris was carrying, no doubt. At least I know which way he went. Okay. Someone made sure work of them. Okay. I wonder if that someone was Norris. Oh, hello. <laughs> Norris, I presume. Leave me be. You were never branded. So that's how you stayed hidden. Huh. Ronald sent you after me, did he? Set an imperial dog on his best friend. And when we were so close, I'll never forget the hatred in his That's eyes. Awful. I'm so it sorry. Doesn't matter now. I will not become a slave. As one bear to another, please. Don't do this. You know how they treat our kind. Of course. Ronald didn't send me. One of Martha's men did. He wanted to make sure you were safe. I don't understand. Martha takes in Maris. She's a friend. You can trust her. Believe me. I never knew. I can't say I'm surprised, though. She has a kind heart. Kinder than most. Yeah. Just wait here and stay out of sight. You'll be among friends soon enough. Thank you. There's few would have been so kind. And sorry. You're no Imperial dog. Far from it. Thank you. <laughs> I've been called worse. Oh, I found a lantern back there. I assume it's yours. Thanks. I dropped it when those creatures attacked me. But if I'm honest, I wasn't all that sorry to be rid of it. Ron gave it to me. All right. I'll keep hold of it. I might be able to use it to put an end to the Imperial Surge before it begins. Oh, I'll plant it somewhere oh, else. That a brand. To have lived free for so many years. Yeah. I need to be betrayed by a friend. That's awful. Okay. <clears throat> Can I plant the lantern somewhere else though? Oh, we 
There you are, Clive. How goes the search? Well branded. Have you found the bastard yet? Jeez. Only what was left of him. A corpse. Uh, torn apart by monsters. That's how I'm throwing them off the tra this. trail. Let me see that. No. It can't be. Shall we consider that the end of the matter then? Or do you need to see a body? No, no. I, I mean... I've no use for bearer bones. He's dead. <laughs> Let that be an end to it. Only wish those whose job it was had done what they were supposed to do and spotted him sooner. Jeez. Letting a bearer go about without a brand? It's not right, I tell you. Who want anything to do with me now, eh? There goes the bearer lover, they'll say. I'll be a laughing stock. Jeez. Is it true, Clive? Is Norris really... Nope. He's alive. You'll find him in a hut in the marshes. He's expecting you. Oh, you crafty. <laughs> Still, you did the right thing. Thank you. It's not much considering, but please, take this. Quest complete. Make for East Pole. So much for all parts of the Empire. The bridge. Green sheaves. Thank you. Don't about them boards. I use good solid lumber. It's the base on the other side you want to be careful of. <laughs> I'll be right. Martha said the blight had spread even further south, pushing yet more monsters down with it. I dare say we'll be seeing a few along the way. Then we shall have to keep our wits about us. We shall. Get him, boy! Ugh. You know what to do, boy. It's over. Sick of trouble. The bouge. Lovely. Out of here, you nasties. Oh, baby. Level up. Yay, level 20. Right. Got the nasties. Hell yeah! Nice one, Jill! Killing it! Beautiful. Okay. Hello, bud. You there! Over here! Hi! Excuse me, I'll use that blade of yours. How can I help? Curse my luck. I branded. No time to haggle with whoever holds your leash. Jeez. Wait. That's the slumbering chocobo you're wearing. You're one of Marfrey's, are you? Good. She won't begrudge me the use of you then. <laughs> well, there's wolves about. We tried dealing with them ourselves. Laid out bait, think we might swoop in and slaughter a lot. But we didn't expect the pack to be quite so bloody big. <laughs> All I right. expect the blight drove them here. They must have fled their homes for greener pastures. Mm. We'd hope empty bellies might make them easy prey. 
We've made them mean instead. Yeah, desperate. Arthur's no fool, so she must see something in you. Do us a favor and get rid of them, will you? Okay, only because I get money out of it. <laughs> nice. I suppose those walls pose a threat to everyone. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The greedy bastards are still over yonder, finishing off our bait. When you've seen to every last one of them, go and speak to my friend over the bridge. Bryce, his name is. He want to know if it's safe to come across. Okay. All right. Off you go, then. Beast against beast. All right, I'm gonna mess him up. Let's go. Oh, stopping wolf. I kind of feel bad. Yeah, hungry, all right. Hungry and mean. Sick of trouble. Over here. Give all you've got, boy. Sick of trouble. Hey, he's strong, the Alpha. Him. Now the last one. Get him. It's over. Sick of total. Got him. Now to find this Bryce. Let him know the road's safe. Oh! Big boy. Hello, you. Dang, you're strong. Oh, dang. I dodged, but not the best time. Beautiful. Can tell the dude it's all done. Broken hilt. Wonder how long that pain will last. You, Bryce. <laughs> What's it to you, bearer? 
Your friend asked me to get rid of the wolves. So I got rid of the wolves. So I got rid of the wolves. You let me believe a single bearer slew the entire pack. Mm -hmm. And again, if you didn't, you wouldn't be on this side of the bridge. Bugger me, you're a tough one, aren't you? Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, Frederick. You oily bastard. I never thought to pit beast against beast like that. You served us well, bearer. Be sure to pass our thanks to your master. At least I got money from it. Toodaloo. Look, the windmills. That must be Eastbourne. Lovely. We're almost there then. I remember coming here with Lord Murdoch when I was young. Aww. Those areas seemed a very different place back then. I'm sure. Nice. Dang. We're here. Cool. East Pool. Quiet, isn't it? Very. Yes. You. You're Clive Rossfield. Oh, shoot. It's me, Hannah, Rodney Murdoch's wife. Oh. Lady Hannah. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, I knew it was you. You haven't changed at all. The Lord Marquis and Jill, too. Oh. It's so good to see you both again. Oh. I am so sorry. It's good to see you, too, Lady Hannah. Oh. You must come back to the house. I haven't much to offer, but what is mine is yours. We should be delighted. It would be our pleasure. Oh. And you have been wandering the world ever since. And thank you for the tea. I can well understand fleeing from those iron blood brutes. But oh, to take to the road at such a tender age. He struggles to look her in the eye. It uh, wasn't easy. We survived, and... And now we're back. It's wonderful to see you safe and well, Lady Hannah. Mm. God, their faces are so realistic. Oh, breaks my heart. Do you think you will stay here? In Eastpool. Rosaleth still enjoys the Mother Crystal's blessing, does it not? You could always move. This house holds a lot of memories for me. Of your late husband. So long as I can live here in peace, here I shall stay. Not that it matters. The capital is closed to civilians, by order of the Duchess. Or should I say, Her Imperial Majesty. Yeesh. Annabella's marriage to the Emperor of Sambrec heralded a great many changes here. 
Yes. Of course. Oh, forgive me. I I didn't mean to. Don't worry, he don't have a good relationship Please. with her. <laughs> there is nothing to forgive. Yeah. Don't you worry. Would my mother not make an exception for you and your husband? Surely she would not refuse the Lord Commander. Did she already refuse him? You haven't heard then. Rodney passed away on the night of the fire. He never returned from Phoenix Gate. He was the one who burnt him. I... I'm sorry. Oh no. Clive. My poor child. You look pale. All this traveling must have taken its toll. He did it. I insist you rest. We can talk later. <laughs> and she's so lovely. Are you sure you don't want to sleep inside? I can't. Not after what I did. So we told Lady her. Hannah said she would prepare a change of clothes for you in the morning. She really has been very kind. So kind. Thirteen years of killing. Thirteen years without the faintest glimmer of hope. It was only Joshua that kept me going. I swore that I would avenge his death. That I would kill his killer. That was the only thing that gave my life any meaning. But if it was me who killed Joshua and Murdoch and all the others, then why the hell am I still breathing? I ask myself the same. When I checked, hundreds died. And there were so many bodies, so many lives cut short in their prime. She understands. That day in Dalmechia, I... I wanted to join them. I wanted it all to end. Oh, Jill. I couldn't bear it anymore. If living meant being that, better to be just another body. I'm sorry. They understand each other. Do you remember that night on the balcony? When we looked up at the moon? I said a prayer to Metia and that prayer was answered. What was it? Oh, young her. You came back to me. The heavens must but he would have come a back to us. Kiss, 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 kiss. Oh no, whatever. We should get some rest. Right. Good night, Clive. Well. I'm in love with them. I love their love. <laughs> Thank you, Lady Anna. Perhaps now people will not flee at the sight of me. 
You look just like Elwyn did when he was your age. No. How did you come wow. to have some of my father's old clothes? <gasps> oh, before Elwyn. This is his father's old clothes. That's so Our cool. Would often summer together. He Aww. and Rodney were like brothers. These clothes have been in a wardrobe for years, collecting cobwebs along with everything else. That is so badass. Look at him. Well, I'm very grateful for them. And sorry for depriving you of your memories. It's not at all. It's what your father would have wanted. They suit you well. They do. You look fine. Thank you, Lady Hannah. She's so lovely. Yes, thank you. You've been most kind. No, I should thank you. It may only have been for a short while. But seeing you again took me back to happier times. Ow. Fare you well. My lord and lady. And you, Lady Hannah. My fields. If we follow the road to the north, we should Damn. Find the way to he looks Gate. so cool. Let's go. I love it, and I'm so emotional. Hot damn. That was awesome. Alright, let me all right, let me see if there's here, yeah, Hannah Murdoch. Hannah Murdoch, wife of Rodney Murdoch, Lord Commander of the Rosarian Army. Since her marriage, she has resided in the Murdoch Manor in Eastpool, remaining there even after her husband's death at Phoenix Gate. She gladly welcomes Clive and Jill into her home, going so far as to gift Clive a set of clothes that once belonged to his father, a reminder of happier times that she would rather lived on than moulded in a closet. Clive Rossfield, an imperial bearer turned deserter. He and his childhood friend Jill journeyed to their homeland of Rosaria to learn the truth of the events that shaped their histories. <clears throat> their path takes them through the village of Eastpool, where they meet with Hannah Murdoch, wife of the late Lord Commander. She presents Clive with a set of clothes that once belonged to his father. Phoenix Gate, the remains of the fortress destroyed in the year 860 on what came to be known as the Night of Flames. The castle's invasion by Sambraqua Sam saboteurs and the battle between the two icons of fire that arose in its wake. The earth is still riddled with fissures and tears, testament to the ferocity of the fight that unfolded here. The gate itself was buried beneath piles of soot, stained rubble, and with it Rosaria's pride, falling as the duchy did on to the empire not long afterward. Eastpool, a hamlet located in the eastern part of the imperial province of Rosaria. It was once surrounded by fertile farmland, but the southward creep of the blight eventually drove out most of the inhabitants. Yeah. Oh yes, that's her house, okay. Oh... Anyone has any side quests? You! Those are Elwins! By the flames! You're his firstborn! Oh my god! Clive Rosfield! You must take him. You can't fool me, my lord. You're the very image no. of your father. And that would be true even if you weren't wearing his clothes. Yeah. The self-same garments Hannah was keeping for you, if I'm not mistaken. She always swore that she would never part with them until the day Elwyn's sons returned. There you go. And no. now that day has come. <laughs> Why, you'll be able to take your bearers back as well. My bearers. Ooh.
Forgive me, Master Mayor. I was a child when last I came to Eastport. Yeah. I didn't recognize you. Oh, I'd be surprised if you recognized anything at all. Much has changed since Rosaria fell to the Empire. Not least for the bearers who once served her noble families. When the Iron Blood sacked Rosalith 13 years back, many who lost their masters fled here in search of sanctuary Damn. and never returned. Aye. The plan was to send them home once we'd won back the capital. But then the Imperials arrived. Rosaria became a province of San Brek. The duchy was dissolved and they no longer had any home to return to. Yeah. Back in your father's day, any bearer who lost their master became a ward of the duchy. We'd hand them over to the sheriffs and they'd be assigned a new position. But when we saw how the Empire treated their branded, yeah. we knew that wasn't an option. Hell yeah. So they've been here ever since. And now you want to give them to me? They're yours by right. Lord Rosfield, bequeathed you by your late father. And they'd be better off serving you than hiding here. Indeed, many of them used to serve your house and still consider the Rosfields their masters. I'm no one's master. Yeah. Not anymore. They wouldn't be safe with me. I understand. You'll forgive an old man his fanciful notions. Mm, Been course. daydreaming for too long. <clears throat> but still, I would ask a favor of you. A small mercy. If it is within my power. One of the bearers is an elderly fellow who still swears absolute loyalty to Archduke Elrond. Mm. I don't ask that you take him into your service. Okay. Only that you meet of with course. him. Of course. Let him see that Elwyn's son still lives and that he's as fine a man as his father ever was. Mm. It would be my honor. That would be such an honor. Thank you, my lord. He sits by the well most days, watching the people go about their business. If you could show him your face, I would be most grateful. Absolutely. Find a man as my father. You're not so very different, you know. Especially dressed like that. <laughs> Come on, let's go and meet that bearer. He's not here. Okay. Well, I can't leave without meeting him. I've let the mayor down once already. It would be cruel to disappoint him again. Of course. Right, let's ask around. Someone must have seen him. I'm looking for an elderly man. Very old. Well now, unfamiliar faces. What brings you to Eastpool, travelers? We're looking for an elderly bearer. You wouldn't happen to have seen him, would you? Ah, you mean the old boy who always waits by the well? Yes, him. Yes, that's him. What, uh, what business do you have with him, if you don't mind me asking? You're not from the capital too, are you? We are, in a way. In a way. Well then, it's a pleasure to meet a fellow Rosalithian. I was born and raised down Market Street. I never would have left if Archduke Elwyn had survived the fire. Yeah. They weren't the same when the Duchess took over, though. All the beatings, the evictions, the levies going up and up and up, even as the blight took half the harvest. Jeez. Oh, listen to me, telling you what you already know. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I can't help you with your bearer either, though I doubt he'll have gone far. He comes here every day, almost as if he's waiting for something. Oh. We'll keep asking around then. Okay. Thank you. Hell yeah. Um, 
Hello. Good day, milady. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a bearer, an elderly fellow who used to serve the Rosfields. Have you seen him? Ah, that old loon. No, no sign of him today. Funny, he's usually down by the well at this hour, cooking up his fantasy feasts. I'm sorry? Oh, he worked in the kitchens at Rosalith oh. Castle back in the day. Still oh. thinks he's there now. <laughs> You'll often hear the poor fool chatting away to the Archduke. Living in a dream he is. Oh, poor thing. But better there than here, I suppose. <laughs> Can't imagine the Viceroy stopping to trade tales with a bearer. Can you? No. Anyway, you'll be round here somewhere. Doubt he has the path to stray too far. <laughs> Thank you. We'll keep looking. Hey, hold on a mo. Young Patrick, the chocobo keeper, might know where he is. Oh, okay. He's taken the old bird under his wing, so to speak. He'll be in the stables. You should go and have a word with them. Okay. Patrick, the chocobo keeper. Thank you. We will. I'm sorry, Jill. For oh. making you do all this in my stead. It can't be helped if we're to keep up the pretense. Come on, let's head for the stables. Oh, she's so patient. Bloody hell's he got to? Are you Patrick? Excuse me, but is something the matter? It's this bearer I've been minding. I take my eyes off him for one minute and he disappears. He's not in his usual spot by the well, nor anywhere else in the village. Okay. You must be Patrick. I am, but... And this bearer you're looking for... He's an elderly man who used to work in the Rosalith Castle kitchens, yes? That's the fella. How do you know all this? I've never seen you in East Pool <laughs> before, but you seem to know the place better than I do myself. <laughs> ah, so that's how it is. <laughs> We well, told him not the if whole you're acting shtick. under orders of the mayor, you're on about to help me find him. Absolutely. He's what little sense he had left of late, saying the sheriffs are coming to collect him and that he needs to go back to the castle. Ooh. I was supposed to watch over him, keep him out of trouble. But if he's walked out on us, there's not a lot I can do. To the castle? That can't be safe for him. Understood. You keep searching here, we'll look for him outside. Thank you. I'm in your debt. I hope he hasn't wandered into trouble. Let's just concentrate on finding him. Okay. Look, there's someone over there. It might be him. We should hurry. Company. Can't lead them to the old man. They need to die. Agreed. All right, come fight us over here. Get him, boy. Sick of Toggle. Over here. Get him. Sick of Toggle. Over here. You know what to do, boy. Over here. Oh boy. Jeez. 
Jeez, how many we got? Enemy slain. Okay. Hi. Are you all right, my friend? Come on. Let's go home. Your Grace. You came for me. I waited for you so long. But you finally came! Yeah. I'm... not who you think. Clive. <sighs> yeah, you've got to let him... let him have a... come on. Yes. Pray forgive my long delay. It's nothing, Your Grace. I prayed to the Founder that you would come. And at long last, he answered. Oh, I'm so well, sorry. Will we be returning to the castle, then? There is still a place for me in the kitchens? No, my friend. We will not be returning to the castle, not yet. I'm on a very important expedition. One which may take some time. But you... Wait for me in Eastpool. Until my journey is complete. I will come back for you then. I promise. You might not live till then, but... Of course, Your Grace. For you, I would gladly wait until my dying day. <sighs> Thank you, both of you. You've been most kind. The memory of serving the late Archduke was as one light in the darkness. And now that light burns a little more brightly. It's nothing but a fantasy, of course. But it's better than the truth of the matter. A damn sight better. The blight is on our doorstep. Our harvests are failing. The people are leaving in droves. If it weren't for Lady Hannah selling half her worldly goods to provide for the few of us who stayed behind, we would long since have starved. We want to keep the bearers safe here, we really do. But unless a miracle happens, we won't be able to spare a crust of bread to share between them soon enough. Is it really that bad? So bad. I even petitioned the Imperial Garrison to take them. But when they found out where they'd come from, they damn near spat in our faces. Ducal dogs, they called them. Enemies of the Empire. God. I know a man named Sid. Oh, yeah. Who would gladly give a home to any bearer in need of one. Yeah. Leave this with me. As soon as I return from Phoenix Gate, I'll speak with him. Okay. Thank you, my lord. Will you be passing through Eastpool on your way back? I should very much like to speak with you again, if you have the time, regarding the future of the village, and what might be done for Lady Hannah. After all, she's done for us. Yes, of course. I'll be back anon. Fare you well, my lord, my lady. I wish you a safe journey. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, everyone I'm gonna leave this episode here I really hope you enjoyed I loved that that was so emotional and beautiful and I'm so bloody invested so thank you all so so much for joining me make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one bye